think it's time to blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Steals up here coming at you with comeback video? I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, it has been two years since I uploaded a YouTube video and I've been off social media for seven months now since the beginning of January. Uh, yeah, and I am just back on that now, so. I am really out of the loop on pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I. it's kind of weird. I didn't really think that I would make content again. I really wasn't happy with the videos I was putting out. I got bored. I didn't think they were interesting. Um, and I just overall wasn't happy with my the quality of my videos um, and I wasn't enjoying myself anymore which I already said I believe and so I just decided to stop that's pretty much it uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering that I just wasn't having fun so um, but I want to have fun again I was having fun at one point but near the end I wasn't I, I want to do it right this time I want to come back I want to do the content that I think is gonna be fun uh, that I'm interested in making. It's still gonna be about anime and manga and stuff. I'm not changing the theme of the channel per se, but uh, the content is changing. But obviously um, I'm gonna need time to figure that this out. Uh, so bear with me while I try and uh, try and work all of this out. Um, as far as I have no editing experience really I use Windows Movie Maker to make every single video on this channel. Every single one. I recorded it off my cell phone and even an iPod freaking touch when I first started. Um, and I'm still using my cell phone now. So also I apologize for the sound quality. If there's a little echoey in this room, um, that's just things I'll have to figure out um, as we move along. But if this is your first video, welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Stu Senpai. I've been on YouTube, on YouTube, for like four years making content, or really two years making content and a two-year break. Uh, break, excuse me. And if you have been here since the beginning or any point after that, uh, thanks for sticking with me and kind of just hoping I'd upload again, or maybe you just forgot to unsubscribe. Either way, fine with me. And. Um, I'm gonna make this first video a little bit easier for myself to edit and make. Um, it's gonna be something you guys are probably interested in and hoping for, and that is a collection video. A lot has changed since my last collection video. A lot of my life has changed besides just my anime and manga collection. Um, I had moved previously, I was living with roommates, and then uh, I moved out, and now I'm living with my girlfriend, we have our own place. So I've kind of got it set up mostly how I want it. Um, right now we're kind of in my workspace slash den. Uh, I also share it with my girlfriend, so um, that's cool. Yeah, got my own space now. It's It feels like a good place where I can come back to make content where I'm not being bothered by other people or having to work around other people's schedules. So, so that's great. And anyways, so yeah, this is my collection video. A lot has changed. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you at the end of the video. All right, guys, starting off, we have my first bookshelf of manga. Uh, some of these are gonna be double stacked just for the sake of uh, saving room, but it is what it is. Starting off, we have Slam Dunk, volumes one to 31, top five manga for me. And then after that, we have Tokyo Ghoul, 
Shaman Warrior, which is a Korean manhwa, actually, and I think it's going to be quite hard to find these volumes, so uh, if you're interested in some manhwa, maybe check this out, but you might have a hard time finding actual physical copies. And then after that, we have my Inyo Asana manga, Nijigahara Holograph, Good Night Pun Pun, What a Wonderful World, Solonin, and A Girl on the Shore. If you are an Inyo Asano fan, let me know what is your favorite manga of his that he has already finished or is currently writing. Let me know down in the comments. And then after that, we have Parasite, just a couple novels. And then on the third shelf, we have uh, Vinland Saga, a personal favorite of mine, another top five. Uh, I think there might be the 11th book might be out by now, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I have not kept up on any releases. And then after that, we have some Junji Ito books. I need to get the rest of his collection. Right now, I just have Gyo and Uzumaki. And then after that, All You Need Is Kill, Planets, Ichi F, Satoshi Kon compilation book, Neon Genesis Evangelion manga, Doro He Doro, and the rest of Doro He Doro. And last time I made a video, this was not complete yet, or might have just completed in Japan. But now the American releases have uh, completed as well, I think a while ago, which I'm not caught up on yet, but I'll have to get those books. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the anime down in the comments. Uh, I liked it. It was fun. And then after that, we have Nana. I mean, I'm taking my time reading this one. As you can see, some books are still in the cellophane, shrink wrap, whatever, um, because it's been on hiatus for like what six or seven years now so i'm taking my time reading it not going to do it all at once and then after that we have a silent voice let me know what you thought of the anime compared to the manga um i thought the movie was pretty good but the manga definitely was uh more successful uh maybe not successful but i think it was just better uh and then after that we have some battle angel alita books i'm kind of considering selling these and then getting the box set but it's not like the akira box set it's just kind of like a little um sheath or kind of housing for the books it's not as nice as the akira box set but uh, we'll see i might just get the last two books and then after that we have obviously the akira 35th anniversary edition box set i've had to get like three of these because <laughs> um the first two came damaged on the, the cover that you like flip open the top. Um, it's not like on hinges or anything. It's kind of just other paper, cardboard material or whatever. And it was ripped on the first two uh, I got. So I had to return them because something on this nice and this heavy, uh, having any kind of structural uh, damage to the actual box is not going to be good for the long term. It's just going to keep ripping and then eventually it's just going to break. And I did not want that. So I was able to get uh, actual non-damaged one and then we just have Rohan at the Louvre and then this is like a little I forget like a maybe like an art book or a character book or something or of a grid man that was that trigger show that was pretty popular about a year or two ago I got that at anime NYC or actually anime expo in 2018 which I would never go to again there's just too many damn people and then after that we have blam the entire series um, and then after that we have Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, and then just some art books and some game guides just for like Pokemon and Final Fantasy 15. And, uh, yeah, this really, really nice Full Metal Alchemist art book. One of my favorites. All right, guys, moving on, we have another, uh, bunch of my favorites. And starting right off the bat, we have, obviously, Berserk, as you can see. Everything that's out right now in English, except maybe then volume 39 might be out by now. And then we've just got Giganto, Maxia, and I've got the Japanese volume of, was that? No. Japanese volume of 38, and then like a, like a character book or something like that, I forget. Or maybe a data book, I believe, in Japanese, so I can't even read it, but whatever. And then after that, we have Gantz. Or Gantz, the entire collection, volumes 1 to 37. I know they're coming out with the Omnibus now, so it's going to be a little bit easier for people to get, but I've seen the Omnibus. And, man, they are rough to look at, at least. 
And then anyways, moving on, we have my Gundam manga, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, all 12 hardcovers. And I've actually got some other random side story manga. This is The Origin MSD. And this is actually signed by the author. I can't really open it with one hand, but the, both of these books are signed. So that's pretty cool. I got those at Anime NYC. And then following up, we have all of my Naoki Urasawa manga. We have Monster. Fantastic. No need to say more than that. Then we have Pluto. The entire collection. Master Keen. Uh, right after that. It took me a while to finish, but I really liked it in the end. And then after that, we have 20th Century Boys. The final five volumes of 20th Century Boys. And then after that, we have All of Vagabond. Uh, I really wish <laughs> Takiko anyway would come back and finish filming it, but... Or filming it. <laughs> writing it. Um... But, you know, it is what it is. And then after that, we have... Uh, actually, I have two Spice and Wolf Anniversary Collector's Editions. Um, one is actually upside down. <laughs> but uh, the reason I have two is because one came damaged. I think you can see it was kind of smushed uh, right here. And then one of the pages was torn. Like, the signature page that was numbered was also torn. So I ended up actually getting a replacement for free. That was also signed and numbered, so uh, really lucky that I have two now. But uh, that is shelf number two. Alrighty, on to the third bookshelf. We have a lot of my longer-running kind of shonen series. Not the whole thing, but there is a lot of my longer-running shonen stuff on here. Uh, we have Haikyuu, which actually is no longer running. It just completed, a, a, what, last week, two weeks ago. Um, today is July, no, August third or something i believe um but yeah it just completed uh and then after that we have one punch man and then moving on we have moggy which i had to double stack which because it's just like super long this is completed now i need to get caught up on the releases and then my hero academia 1 through 16 honestly i might sell my hero academia not because i don't like it but now with just the shonen jump app I'm able to read pretty much every Shonen Jump series for like $2 a month. And the space and cost of buying long-running Shonen manga just doesn't make sense to me anymore. Um, when I can read it for $2 and honestly, um, collecting every single thing now is just not possible anymore. But we'll see. I still like My Hero Academia, so no need to get ups upset about that. And then after that, we have Noragami, 1 to 17. Behind on... If, you, if you're if you seeing this, I'm pretty much behind on everything. I haven't bought manga in a while. And then after that, we just have my Attack on Titan shelf. Um, various collection of the uh, Attack on Titan, No Regrets, Levi side story, uh, special editions of the manga... Uh, let me know what you guys thought of, like, the most recent changes in Attack on Titan regarding, like, time and store development and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people really liked it. I'm still kind of on the fence. I'm going to have to go back and read it and, and uh, kind of review my opinion. And then after that, we have Black Lagoon, which is actually out of order. I'll have to fix that later, but... Um, I actually recently just moved in this apartment, so I kind of threw stuff on the shelves just to get everything unpacked. So if there's anything that's not in order, that would be why. Oh, to your eternity. <laughs> that's not in order either, but it is what it is. And then after that, we have I Am Hero. Uh, I need to get caught up on this because this was one of my favorite manga when I was, you know, making videos and being up to date on pretty much every release. And then behind that, um, well, I'm not going to move all these, but we have D. Gray Man 1 to 25. And then following that up, we have Cross Game 1 to 8, a great series by Mitsuru Adachi. Definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested in, like, some nice slice of life, uh, sports manga, but, you know, baseball and stuff, so check it out. And then after that, we have kind of just a little assortment of 
some manga they don't have a ton of volumes for. We have the Full Metal Alchemist books, hardcovers. Those are so nice. If you're going to get Full Metal Alchemist books, don't get the manga box set. Don't get the omnibus because those are trash. Save up the money. Spend the money on the hardcovers because they are fantastic. And then we have Blade of the Immortal, Delicious in Dungeon, which... I haven't been keeping up on releases, but I have not seen a volume come out in quite a while. So uh, I could be just a couple volumes behind. I definitely recommend you check out Delicious in Dungeon. It's a fantastic series. And then after that, we have Welcome to the Ballroom, Mobile Suit, Gundam Thunderbolt, Children of the Whales, and five volumes of Tokyo Ghoul Re. And then behind there, uh, just double stacked, I have the Bakuman series. And then... Those are all of my <laughs> JoJo hardcovers, which, thinking now, uh, I did just kind of throw everything on the shelf, but those should definitely be in the front because they look a lot nicer than uh, normal manga volumes. But anyways, that is shelf number three. We're going to go ahead and check out the last, last manga bookshelf right now. All right, guys, this is it for the last big bookshelf of manga. We have Lone Wolf and Cub, the entire series, volumes 1 to 28. Knights of Sidonia, the complete series. I might sell these and get the Master Edition that Vertical is releasing now because not only will it, in the end, save some space in my uh, collection, but obviously the books are going to be much higher in quality. But, I mean, Vertical books are already very nice to begin with. Um, so we'll see. And then after that, My Love Story, the complete series. And then we have all of Ice Shield 21 double stacked, uh, just because I'm running out of room. Uh, but love Ice Shield 21. I mean, the, the combination of artist and writer is fantastic on this. Uh, <laughs> Yusuke Murata, who, if you don't know, also is the artist for One Punch Man. And then we also have Richiro Inigaki, who is writing Dr. Stone right now, if I believe. I hope I got that correct, but I'm pretty sure he's a writer for Dr. Stone. Um, so, yeah. And he works on Dr. Stone with Sunken. No, not Sunken Rock. I forget who the artist is, but he also drew Sun Ken Rock. Um, so just a great team right here, a great manga. Um, I would definitely check it out if you haven't yet. And then we have Soul Eater, volumes 1 to 25, which I am in the process of reading right now. Uh, anime is great. always liked it, um, but I definitely need to uh, finish the manga as it was meant to be, or finish the story as meant to be finished. And then after that, we have Biomega, 1 to 6, another Tsutsumo Nihei manga. Love him. Pretty much read anything he'll he'll put out. And then we have my only Osamu Tezuka manga, uh, Message to Adolf. Just uh, interesting two-volume series or two, two big-volume series about some uh, several different men named Adolf or Adolf um, in their lives. And then after that, we have Yotsuba, which is... One of the best manga of all time, uh, hands down, in my opinion. Uh, it just it makes me feel happy every time I read it. It's a really good feel-good manga, and I definitely recommend you check it out if you're looking for something to cheer you up. And I think volume 14 is out, but I don't have that yet. Um, no rush. Yotsuba comes out super slow. And then after that, we have some Kaoru Mori manga, which is uh, just Emma, all five volumes, and Bride's Tale. Both are fantastic manga i definitely recommend you check them out and then after that we have wolfsmund the flowers of evil lucifer and the biscuit hammer i've had that omnibus for a long time and i it's one of the things i haven't sold because i just i really want to read it and you know i just need to make the time to do so after that we have some promise neverland one volume of demon slayer like i said not really sure if i'm going to be collecting um, Shonen Jump manga anymore just because of the app is so awesome. It saves space, it saves money, it saves time because uh, you can just read everything super fast if you want to. Um, and if I do get Demon Slayer, I think I'll get the anime. It's going to be expensive, but the anime, the manga is fantastic with the anime. just is elevates the source material to a whole nother level with its OST and animation. And then after that, we have Land of the Lustrous, a couple volumes of Fire Punch, Nichi Joe. And then on the bottom shelf, we have Real, another Takahiko Inoue manga, which I heard he might be starting up again. 
he said he was going to come back and start writing. I think it was real that he said he was going to do again. And then we have Sweetness and Lightning, Golden Kamui, which is out of order. <laughs> uh, Happiness, also out of order. Um, this is another uh, Sh Shuzo Oshimi. Did I say her name right? Yes. Uh, manga. Anyways, uh, we have again Made in Abyss and Dead Dead Demons Dead 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 Destruction. Uh, another Inio Asano manga. Um, quite the mouthful. And then back there, we just have my prison school books. I think I have up to Omnibus number nine. And then just my Full Moto Alchemist box set. So, yeah, um, actually, I have some American comics right here as well. Um, yeah, pretty. F I've, I've been getting into com comics too, but not too many because I don't want to ignore manga fully. But yeah, I've got about four short boxes here of just um, comics. I read a lot of Marvel and uh, a lot of independent stuff from like Dark Horse or. Um, I forget who the other publisher is off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm into American comics now. As you can see, big fan of Daredevil. I actually give you a quick pan right here of my workspace. Just my Xbox. Electronic stuff, games. This is my workstation slash um, gaming center. You can see under here, I actually... Well, you can't really see because my chair is in the way, but I have my work computer under there and my uh, gaming PC. And then this is just a lot of my art right here. Uh, as you can see, a lot of sexy women. <laughs> and a lot of other cool art too. This is all, I got all this stuff from conventions. So yeah, this is my uh, last big bookshelf and kind of my working gaming area. Anyways, moving on. All right, guys. Uh, this is the last area for manga. We'll be moving on to anime after this, but I just wanted to show off real quick. This is the infamous Naruto shelf. If you have been following the channel, you know this pretty much. Naruto has not moved off this bookshelf. It just pretty much fits perfectly right here. So yeah, the entire series of Naruto plus the follow-up uh, book, The Seventh Hokage and the Scarlet Spring. I'm not collecting Baruto. I will not be collecting Baruto or reading Baruto or re watching the anime. Uh, not biased against it, but... That, that's for the next generation of anime and manga fans. Uh, Boruto's not for me, but uh, it's nice to see the story continuing. And then down here we have just some more American comics. These are all of my graphic novels. Punk Rock Jesus, Daredevil, American Gods, I just got this. Um, was this a Neil Gaiman book, I believe? But yeah, I read a lot of image stuff. Um, a lot of Rick Remender. I really love Rick Remender's books. These are kind of weirdly bent. Uh, Deadly Class. Awesome series. Seven to Eternity. Revival, which is set in Wausau, Wisconsin. And I'm about an hour or maybe a little bit more away from there. So pretty cool. Um, that is close to where I live. And then we got a couple of random volumes of some Rick Remender stuff. Black Science. Um, some Robert Kirkman books with Oblivion Song. Really like Oblivion Song. Uh, Tokyo Ghost. Oh, that's actually out of order. And then one of my most recent picks up, pickups from Boom is uh, Something is Killing the Children. When I saw that cover, I couldn't resist buying it. And then we just have some uh, Marvel graphic novels. Marvel graphic novels are hard to collect because they are expensive for what you get. I mean... Just look how small those and or th and thin those books are, and you're getting like and they're like 15 bucks. So, if you want to read Marvel, uh, you're gonna pay the price uh, in uh, in spades or whatever. You're gonna be paying the price. But there is a lot of stuff I like from Marvel. Um, just some Immortal Hulk and then Spider Man, and we've got some Cosmic Ghost Rider and stuff. So some of it's worth it. And then right here, this isn't my shelf. This is my girlfriend's, which. Um, I guess I could have put together before doing this or cleaned it up, but yeah. Um, oh, this is all of her junk. Not junk. This is all the stuff she likes. So you've got a nice assortment of K-pop, Godzilla, uh, and anime on here and some video game stuff. Um, so shout out to my girlfriend. She's awesome. Thanks for letting me put all this stuff up in the apartment. And then this is just like a collection of some of our art. 
that we've gotten at conventions and stuff. Some of the stuff I got for her too. So yeah, this is this fun little hallway right here we have. Anyways, moving on to the anime. All right, we've got the first anime shelf. Um, these are all just like my standard edition Blu-rays, uh, a majority of them. So I'm not gonna list every single title, but I'm kind of just gonna go through, you know, a lot of the basics, Akira, Attack on Titan. We've got Cowboy Bebop, Eureka 7, Evangelion movie, uh, movies, Fully Cooly, pretty much everything Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Full Metal Panic, all of the Ghibli movies, everything Ghost in the Shell, Wolf's Reigns, Hellzine, some Hunter x Hunter. I've pretty much got a nice assortment of everything. Uh, my teen romantic comedy, Nietzsche Joe. Then down here at the end we have Yona the Dawn, Parasite, Ping Pong, Psycho Pass, Roni Kenshin Live Action, and then all of Space Bros. So yeah, that is the first manga, or excuse me, anime bookshelf. Okay, starting off uh, on the kind of more collector edition based shelves, um, we've got like my little Gundam shrine here, just the origin volumes. Um, I actually have the last two Gundam the Origin volumes on a different bookshelf. I didn't show that though, but no big deal. Um, yeah, pretty much all of the Gundam imports, some nice VHS tapes that I was able to find that look pretty cool. And that's actually my girlfriend's uh, Death Scythe Gundam. Anyways, moving on, we've got uh, all of my collector's editions. I mean, more Gundam. Then right here we have Fate Zero. Everything Monogatari, which I think is in the correct order. Kill a Kill, uh, G Gundam, Rosa Versailles, and then we've got Revolutionary Girl Utena, 20th Anniversary Ultra Edition, Tokyo Ghoul, Gurren Lagan, Ushi on Tora, uh, a bunch of JoJo books, then my Berserk Box of War, love that, uh, Cowboy Bebop, Attack on Titan. Uh, then down here, my Black Lagoon box set, which is an ammo box. Awesome. Always love that. Uh, High School of the Dead, No Game in Life, Knights of Sidonia, My Hero Academia, Chihai Furu, and Haikyuu. And then moving on to the next shelf, I mean, we've got a bunch more. Uh, Outlaw Star, Escalafone, Eden in the East, Death Parade, Mob Psycho. Need to get the second season, Collector's Edition. We have this big Iron-Blooded Orphans box, uh, just more collector's editions, and then we have some Yu Yu Hakusho on Blu-ray. And then we have Iron-Blooded Orphans. Uh, there we go, all of my Gundam Blu-rays and DVDs, pretty much every release except, um, I, f I forget what the last release is called, um, but yeah, pretty much everything Gundam. Uh, more collector editions and whatnot. These are also all of my DVDs. So Fist of the North Star, some Dragon Ball. I do like Dragon Ball. And then some more Ghost in the Shell, some Gundam Wing VHS, and then just more DVDs. And then we have some of these random sized collector's editions. The Food Wars collector's edition. We have the Darker Than back, uh, Black Premium Edition, which, love the show, but this Premium Edition uh, <laughs> is trash. It is god-awful. Uh, the way it's put together is just terrible. Uh, the pilot and the, or Princess and the pilot, and then we have the Soul Eater Yearbook Collector's Edition. Um, if they wanted, they should have... It's kind of the same style as the Darker Than Black Collector's Edition, but it's hardcover and actually made to withstand, you know, just existing. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that is, I think, the entire collection. Um, I'll give you a little pan. We've got more art on the wall. Just a collection of mine and my girlfriend's art prints. Um, I've got Nier, Evangelion, Devilman. Pokemon, Akira, FMA. Pretty much everything you've seen <laughs> on the shelves is also going to be on the wall. Uh, more Gundam. Really like this uh, G Gundam poster. And then we've just got the TV, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. So yeah, that is the collection, guys. Alright guys, so 
that was my complete anime and manga collection. There might have been some things that I forgot to show on camera. I think like some Gundam stuff, but uh, if you know anything about this channel, it's been all Gundam all the time. I pretty much have everything Gundam, at least that I want. Um, so yeah, uh, that was fun. Kind of, <laughs> it, it made me feel very nostalgic filming a collection video and just talking about anime and manga again. Um, kind of lit something inside me or uh, I felt something that I haven't felt in quite a while. Um, just having fun talking about the stuff I like, which is the whole reason I started this channel. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought of my collection down in the comments. Uh, just want to say, just because I don't, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but there's just something weird about anime and manga fans where if, if you don't own it, or if you don't talk about it enough, you're not a fan or you hate it, or for some reason you're a hater, or you have bad taste, I had just weird that your collection has nothing to do with your status as a fan of something. You could be the biggest fan of Dragon Ball and not own a single piece of merch. Collection merchandise is not equivalent to how much a fan you are of something. It's just weird that I have to say that. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is just because I don't own it or I don't talk about it or if you don't see it doesn't mean I don't like it or something like that. Um, uh, <laughs> I think it's just silly that um, people think that way. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the collection. If, if you've been around for a while, not much has changed other than that. You might have not seen some stuff that you've seen before. I showed you everything. If there is stuff that you have seen before that is not there anymore, it is because I sold it. Um, having a collection the size that I did was just completely unmanageable considering the amount of time I would invest in actually uh, reading or watching it. I have, not only do I have a full-time day job, um, I mean, everyone has jobs, so not an excuse, but um, I have a lot of other hobbies besides anime and manga, video games, uh, building Gundams, uh, I mean, spending time with my family or my girlfriend. Um, you know, so uh, one of my goals is to, you, you make the time that you have. Uh, so I need to make more time to enjoy the collection I have. And uh, an easy way of making that possible was getting rid of stuff that, you know, was nice to have, or at one point I enjoyed, but no longer do. Or I just bought it because I had terrible spending habits when I was younger and I dug myself a hole so deep that I couldn't get out unless, you know, I got rid of some of the dirt. Um, so, not dirt, okay? Uh, some of it was crap and I just, I had no idea why it was even my collection. But anyways, that's why some stuff might be missing. Uh, anyways, um, this was a lot of fun to make and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, other than letting me know what you thought about the collection down in the comments, also leave any questions you have down in the comment section and I am going to do my very best to make like a Q&A video where I answer all of your questions. Um, I never really answered a lot of questions, uh, personal or whatnot, uh, when I did YouTube the first uh, time around. So leave your comments or leave your questions down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them in a video. Anyways, um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate the support as always, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm going to do my best to make it, I promise. Anyways, this is Mr. Studio Senpai, signing out. Have a good one.